get started as a hairdresser? Oh. Do you remember those days a long time ago? Mother. <laughs> Mother. That she had a premonition. The war's on. We're sleeping in shelters. Mm. And it was that whole, you know, the terrible time in London. This is London, right? This London. Is London, England, yeah. Right. And she took me by the scruff of the neck <laughs> to see a man called Adolf Cohen in Whitechapel Road. Oh, and we have a picture. There's the, there's the storefront of uh, Adam, Adolf Cohen. Yeah, Adolf, yeah. So what's the most important aspect of being a great hairdresser? You, you went to work at Adolf's, at Mr. Cohen's salon. And well, how long did you stay there? I was a shampoo boy. Oh. And uh, no education, of course. It was four, I was 14 years old. Oh, really? Oh, oh 14. yes. 14. 14 years old. But mom and thought it was better to put you to work <laughs> than to have you sort of wandering around in, the, in that terrible well, time. 14 years old was a school leaving age in England at that time. Mm -hmm. One day he said to me after about six months of scrubbing floors and scrubbing heads, and he said, uh, pop down to Roughton House, which was a place down, just down the road in Whitechapel where the people who had no jobs, you know, people who were down on their luck, layabouts, whatever. He said, go and get yourself a model. Hmm. So I went down there and this enormous man was at the door. And the first thing he said, are you the young limey that's going to cut this fine Irishman's hair, you know? Oh, him, his hair? His name was Dr. His full name, full title, Dr. Shaughnessy. <laughs> well, Dr. Shaughnessy in the next year came every month. And uh, it was quite marvelous because I never knew anything about Beckett and Joyce and Singh so and all these wonderful writers. He was getting a haircut. I was getting an education. <laughs> did Adolf let you do it for free? Or oh, did he pay? No, free. Oh, free. But he'd always say, next time you'll get a big tip. From there, you went on to develop a personal haircutting style unequaled since. I, I, I can't imagine. I, I don't know anybody else who really became so, it, their, their styling became so iconic. And we had some of the hairstyles that, um, that uh, Vidal created. Who is this? Oh, that's Grace Coddington. She's the big lady at Vogue now. With the big red hair? Yeah, that's her. Oh, my God. That's <laughs> Grace Coddington who collects cats. She was on our show. I hope you remember her. But, boy, she really, she came She's to She's something you. else. Yeah. She walked in as a waif, 18 years old. And this is called a five-point. A five-point cart, yes. Why? Because there are two points at the sides and three in the back. Five-point haircut. Yeah. Very geometry-like. Now, who's uh, this? She was my girlfriend for about three years. Oh. That's why you can only see one. Ah, you're hiding her. That's called a line bob. <laughs> it was a short back, long front. Did she like it? Martha, she, yeah, she liked it. She yeah. Was, uh, yeah. And Maggie, this one? Maggie London. Oh, that's Nancy Kwan. Oh, Nancy Kwan. It's some asymmetrical bob. Yeah. So you knew all the names, asymmetrical, five point. I mean, you knew. Well, we made, we made the names up. Oh, you made them up. Of course. Oh. <laughs> What about this, the quiff? That's now, called. I, I can't tell you, it's beautifully it looks like done. Cubie. But Christopher, Christopher oh. Brooker, one of my top stylists, did that. Fantastic. Yeah. And then, oh, and this one is so beautiful too. Well, we. Asym uh, another asymmetrical bob. Well, Danae Brooke, I cut one side like this, and she said, I've changed my mind. Oops. Oops. <laughs> There you go. She changed and her she, mind. She held her hair. She said, I've changed my mind. So I said, so have I. I'm going <laughs> to keep one side long. And uh, it worked. And then while Mia Farrow was arguing oh. with Frank Sinatra, and she got so angry, she cut her hair all off? She ripped into it somewhat, yes. And then called me and said, Vidal. Fix me. I need rehabilitation. <laughs> <laughs> Rehabilitation. Yes. Oh, sorry. 